it's possible for you to take a macro and assign it to a form button. And that's great if you, you know, have a situation where people maybe don't know how to run a macro using the methods that we did, and you want to make that macro available to them. Uh, for example, I have a little header that was inserted right here, and maybe I want to put a button on my sheet here that would allow the users to insert a header into this sheet. I'm going to go to the Develop tab, and when I take a look at my form options or form controls here, if I go to Insert, my very first option is going to be a button. I'm going to click on it, and it's going to let me draw that button. And I can kind of draw it wherever I want. I'm going to put it right here. Now, when I first draw my button, it's going to bring me right into the macro area and allow me to assign a macro. I'm going to cancel that for right now, though. We'll show you how to do that in a moment. I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to put some text into my button. Insert header. Matter of fact, let's say insert Aramar header. Okay, I can resize my button to the way I need it to be. Of course, I can do some formatting here, right? I can start formatting the font in my button, make some changes here. I do get a drawing tools option here, but it's not going to let me do too much in regards to formatting the look and feel of the button itself. Um, so, not really going to worry about that too much. Now, if I right click on the button, I'm going to get assign macro as a choice. I'm also going to see format control here, and this will let me go in and do some formatting also. Assign macro. I can choose the macro I want, so I'm going to do the header macro that I have here. And there we go. So now if a user comes here, they can click. Notice that it turns into a finger when I click over here. When I click, it goes ahead and it runs that macro for me. So as a workbook developer, as a VBA developer, you want to make sure that you put things uh, in a place where they're accessible to your users. And if they don't know how to run macros using the keyboard shortcuts or the macros window, using a form button can be a very helpful tool.